Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Webs here from Slide Nerd. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful looking list here on the left side. Take a look at that. There's this icon and there's a text view for every single row that you want to display inside your recycler view. In the previous video, I crashed our app at the end of the video by making something incomplete. In this video, let's complete that. Ha ha ha, run the project now and you're messed up. Take a look at this, it's crashing on both the pre-lollipop and the lollipop version. And if you go here and if you take a look at this nice big stack trace that we got here, there's na java.lang.null pointer exception. Oh yeah baby, that's your favorite exception. And then it says attempt to invoke virtual method and support v7 recycler view layout manager. So when you see an error like this and if you are a noob like me who doesn't understand anything about it, Simply take the first statement in the error and go and type it on Google and take a look at what it gives you. For in this case, there's a stack overflow result which has exactly discussed the same error. If you just open the link here, you will find out that there's the person who's posted the question has said the same thing. You go down here and it say this guy is saying that when recycler view is added to the view tree, it must have a layout manager before it's laid out. Given the error log at the time call arrives, it does not have a layout manager yet, and therefore this is the problem. And if you go back to our code and if you try to verify what the guy has said, take a look at this. This is a navigation drawer fragment. We have our recycler view that is here at the top as the variable. Inside the onCreateView method, we are trying to initialize the recycler view and that's it. There is no sign of layout manager anywhere, which is why our project is currently crashing. So before we fix this, we got to put data inside the recycler view. Let's see how we can do that. Here. This is what our recycler view is going to look like. It's going to have an image and a text for each position. Let's make a class that represents this single row, which we will call it as a data item or whatever we want. Let's go there and to our Android Studio. Go to Java here, the package, new Java class. I'm going to call it information, which is definitely not the best name, but that's all I can think of right now. Just click OK here and it says you want to add it to Git, not now. I can go inside information and I can have an integer that's going to represent a resource ID of one of these images and a string that's going to represent this text that you see inside the list. So let's do that. So at this point I have int icon ID and string title. Now whether you want to make this private, whether you want to have getters and setters, I'll leave that up to you. Now the next thing that we need to do is make our adapter which is going to, which is going to take the data that is in the form of an array of information objects and then it's going to fill the perfect image and the perfect text message inside each information object from the array list. So go here, simply say new Java class, call it Wills adapter in my case, just click OK and it says you want to add it to get no, just extend your recycler view dot adapter and if you guys notice it very carefully there was something which we just missed take a look at this recycler view dot adapter takes a generic argument here which is called vh which stands for view folder in other words it expects you to have another class that extends the recycler view dot view folder and it is going to take that as an argument now let's take a look at why all this is happening so just press enter at this point and It'll give you an error. It will say that it's not abstract or it must implement the methods. Just press or enter here and you can implement the methods you want and click OK. So there are our three methods. Now we'll go one by one at each method and we'll try to figure out what is going on. Now if you notice something, the return type of this first method on create view folder is basically a recycler view dot view folder. Again, inside the on bind view holder method, there's the parameter the same one which is being passed inside. So what does this parameter do and how should we use it? Let's take a look at that. If you come to the documentation of the recycler view dot view holder, the first thing that catches your eye is that it's an abstract class and inside your adapter here, you're actually expecting an instance of the recycler view dot view holder as a generic argument, which means you're supposed to make a subclass of that recycler view view holder. Now if you go here to the statement, it says a view folder describes an item view and metadata about its place within the recycler view. In other words, all it simply means is that inside our list view at a given position, say 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the position 2 in our case if you count with your array index. And you will notice that a recycler view's view folder 
will represent the text view at this position and the image view at this position. So let's go to the adapter and try to make our object of the recycler view dot view holder. So we can go here simply say class my view holder extends recycler view dot view holder. Now as soon as you write that there is again an error. It says there's no default constructor available and you should just press alt enter and it says create a constructor matching super. So at this point you have your constructor and you're wondering why is there a view object that is being supplied and what does this view object actually represent. For that we need to understand what the on create view holder is all about. Now if you go here to the top of our adapter remember the generic argument here we can just go inside the bracket for the generic argument and we can say my view holder over here. Now in that case we are going to get an error because now we are supposed to replace the my view holder in all those places where we have used a recycler view dot view holder. For example over here we can just press alt enter and it says make on create view holder return my view holder instead. So again save it. Here again we need to make the change here by simply replacing that with my view folder. So at this point everything looks great but you're still left in a confusion as to why we had this class and why we have it coming inside our on create view folder with a return type like this. Let's go to this method and find out what it's trying to say. So inside our recycler view dot adapter class there's the on create view holder. Notice it has two arguments. There's a view type here and there's a view group of a parent here and the return type is vh which stands for that view folder object which we just created that extends the recycler view dot view holder. It says called when the recycler view needs a new recycler view dot view folder of the given type to represent an item. In my previous video I told you guys what a recycler view or view holder is actually and you remember very well that each time we want to display one row here what we want to do is find the text view find the image view and then start putting data in it. But finding the text view and image view every time is a very expensive process. Here we just have 4 rows but if we had 400 rows that's going to really drain your battery not to mention ruin your performance of the recycler view. Hence the idea behind the view holder is that you find things once and then you cache them basically so that you don't have to keep finding them again and again. Do you manage this cache? No. The cache is manageable by you but by default the recycler view takes care of that. So here if we take a look at the documentation further it says the new view holder should be constructed with a new view that can represent the items of the given type. If you read the statement you come back here you notice that the new view holder is constructed with a view that can represent the items of the given type. So in our case we are going to need a layout file that represents a text view and an image view. So we can go to studio here all the way down to our layout here we can make a new layout resource file call that custom row in our case we can make it a linear layout if you want click ok and do you want to add it to get no oops time out if i don't stop the video now then it will stretch to 20 minutes because non-stop explanation lies in between hence in the next video i'll build the layout file further in the meantime if you like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Have a nice day.